the favourite areas in the earliest classroom. So we have our domestic role play set up for the house with the areas for babies, dogs, cooking, got the high chair, table and chairs to have tea and lunch and some books because we all enjoy some books at home. The maths area, the children can practice counting, adding, subtracting, looking at patterns and shapes and there's lots of resources here that the children can access freely, create games, use them as they want and then tidy up when they're finished. Areas are set up um, to help the children collect resources independently um, and also tidy up so they, we expect the children to tidy up when they're finished and all our resources are organised in a way that makes this simple with pictures or shadows um, a little reminder for the children around the classroom as well of our three rules that we have we tidy up as we go along we use a quiet voice inside and we run outside um, so this is our sand area and we also have a water area as well, set up in a very similar way. So the children can select resources, select their apron, tidy it when they're finished. Our workshop area, so at the moment it's quite big. Sometimes this area changes size depending on the time of year. There's an opportunity to make using a variety of different resources. Sometimes in the year we have woodwork as well. Um, once the children have settled and we train them in that. They have different materials, different things they can add, pens, pencils, scissors, glue, all the things they need to be creative. And in this area also is the painting easel. Um, there so they can obviously paint pictures. We have various different um, papers available, brushes, sponges, all sorts of things. They mix their own paints, so we give them the primary colours and they mix the other colours themselves. Um, and then there is a rack for the children to put their paintings on to dry before they bring them home but obviously the, with the paint being right next to the workshop area it's also really good for them to paint the models that they've made too. My favourite area is the dough area so again the resources are easily um, available for the children to select what they want to do and again we encourage them to tidy when they're finished they love making cakes in this area and we have lots of cakes being brought to us um, in our area is available for children to build some wonderful models, all different types of blocks, but also then resources such as animals, dinosaurs, cars, and some more fantasy resources here so they can make magical worlds and play with whatever model it is that they make. We also have a construction area where children can make simple models and display them, spaces for labels as well so they can save them. And again, everything is organised so they can find what they need to make and then pens and paper so that they can make a label for it if they want to save it. We the children to do lots of writing and to write anywhere that they want to when they're playing. Um, so we have um, lots of writing resources that are available, not in one particular area, but anywhere they would like around the classroom. So we teach them that if they want to write, they just come and select what they need clipboards, pens, paper, different colour pencils, scissors, all sorts of things, cards, envelopes, um, things that will help them as they learn to write. Dressing up clothes, children love doing that, so a different sort of role play. A variety of clothes, bags, hats, money, magic wands, all sorts of things. So you can see the classroom full of lots of different things that the children can do and spend their time doing and learning. Very lucky, our outdoor area. We share this with year one, but again, we have lots of different um, provision on the offer that the children can um, use and choose to use. So we have a lovely sand pit, a large sand pit with resources stored nearby for the children to use in the sand pit. We provide waterproof trousers and wellies so that if the children are playing in water or in mud or if it's a wet day, and they haven't brought their things from home, they can easily get changed in this area so that their clothes stay nice and tidy. More selection of scooters and bikes and trikes um, that the children can use and we have helmets too and the children are able to use the big playground for this when no one else is playing on it um, and enjoy developing some physical skills. The area of early years of the monkey bars, children absolutely love learning to master these and develop their physical strength. Lots of things for the children to create with, crates, tarpaulins available, a stage, 
There's musical instruments hiding in the box. Um, tires, all sorts of things that the children can access um, to make things. We've got a wonderful mud kitchen. So the, and uh, plants growing that they can actually use in their creations in the mud kitchen. Uh, here's our giant bricks to create all sorts of things from trains, planes, bridges in the three big birch grove. We absolutely love creating things. There's a variety of different activities outside. Games equipment, they can create their own games, things for balancing, things for gardening and our water area. And again, once the children are in school and we've done some whole class activities, they are allowed to access inside or outside, coming and going as they wish, with just a rule that they tidy up where they finish before they go into somewhere else. Obviously this year it's a little bit different, um, unfortunately we have no idea when you'll be able to visit school with your child, um, but whenever we begin the transition process, rest assured we will make sure that your child is well supported. But in the meantime, what can you do at home to get them ready for school? I think one of the biggest things is, is continue to play with them, continue to talk to them, continue to enjoy lovely stories together, um, play games like I Spy, and um, help them be independent. So help them get dressed in the morning. Can they do it by themselves? Um, can they go to the toilet by themselves? Do they know when they need to go to the toilet? Can they go? Can they manage their clothing? Can they wash their hands? Are they able to tell us when they're tired or hungry or need a drink? Um, so that they can let us know what their needs are. You may be concerned that they can't write their names yet. That's okay. That's what we're here for. There's plenty of time. Children develop at all sorts of different rates and actually really young children are not ready yet necessarily to write their names. So for us, the main thing is can they recognise their names so that they can find their peg in the mornings and can they can find the label that they need to tell us what's for lunch but do you know we take pictures too so if they don't recognize their name just yet that's okay because their photograph will also be on their label can they look after their things do they know if they've got a jumper and they're too hot that they can take it off and they would put it in a sensible place like on their peg would they be able to recognize the label that's inside their jumper if they can't recognize their name maybe have a label with a picture on too to help them you may wish to watch this video together and talk about the different parts of the classroom and who the different adults are that they'll come across in school. That would be really good preparation for when they start. Talk to them about the sorts of activities they like doing and the sorts of um, games they're going to play. And have they got any friends that they know are starting school with them? Who would they be playing with? What are they looking forward to? And if they do have some concerns, which they may, then listen to them and then calmly reassure them that they'll be okay because they really will. You may have a few concerns as well. Um, that's okay. Try not to express these in front of your children because they can pick up on our worries. But drop us a line, email us, and once we're back in school, do come and speak to us because we've done this lots of years. We know that people have concerns. We've heard all the concerns before. Nothing is too strange a question to ask us. So please do um, come and ask anything. Come and chat to us. Come and let us know. You will have received your um, new starters pack in the post a few weeks ago. That should have all the information that you need for starting school. The, the clothes, uniform that your child will need, how you can help, the routines of the day, starts and finish time. Everything should be in there. Our email addresses are in there too. So you can email school or you can email me directly. My email address is in the booklet um, with any questions that you may have and we can answer those for you. Um, in these strange times, because we're not able to um, see you as much as we would have done this term, and also we won't be able to visit your child at nursery, what we have done is we have set up our tapestry journals for the children already. So we, the, you will receive an email with a link to activate your child's learning journey. Um, and then you can begin to put any information you want on there about your child so that we can get to know them before they start with us um, in September. So there we are. Thank you, Mrs Carr, for such an insight into early years and our school. We really cannot wait for you to start with us. So let's end this video 
with a little bit of a summary from our current early years children, playing along to our general ethos that children must be happy. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Because I'm